Hi, my name is Eric Ergen. Today, I'd like to give you a five-minute overview of the single sign-on feature in Unified CCE Release 11.5. Single sign-on, or SSO, is supported for the agent and supervisor interfaces. There are three modes of support, SSO enabled, disabled, or running in hybrid. The hybrid mode is useful if you are migrating or upgrading from an earlier release. The use of SSO requires HTTPS across your enterprise. And the supporting products in 11.5 are Finesse, CUIC, MediaSense, Transaction API, Enterprise Chat and Email, and the Management Portal. For deployments up to 2,000 agents, SSO can be installed right on the CUIC server. For larger deployments, a dedicated virtual machine is required. The maximum supported active SSO agents is 4,000 in this release. Active Directory Federation Server is the only supported identity provider. IP phone agent and remote PGs are currently not supported. All right, let's take a look at an SSO enabled agent versus a non-SSO agent. We will start with Bob Smith, who is not SSO enabled. Because of that, Finesse will serve the traditional login to enter the password and extension. Bob will hit sign in and will receive his desktop layout as determined by his team membership. On the home tab, he has a couple of reporting gadgets and he has multiple tabs for the different business applications that he may be working with. The ECE tab is for the enterprise chat and email gadget. Because Bob is not SSO enabled, this gadget will prompt Bob for his username and password again. The social media tab contains the gadget for the social miner. This product is not supporting SSO in this release. However, Bob is not enabled for SSO, so either way, he will have to enter his username and password to work with this gadget. So let's sign Bob out, go back to Finesse Login, and this time use John Summit, who is enabled to log in with SSO credentials. Upon determining that, Finesse server will redirect to the ADFS, which is the identity provider for authenticating John. Once the authentication is successful, John will be redirected back to Finesse, where he can enter his extension and hit submit. Since John is in the same team as Bob, he has the identical desktop layout, the two reporting gadgets on the home tab. However, this time on the ECE tab, because Enterprise Chat and Email supports SSO, it'll use the SSO token that Finesse Server received from the identity provider and log John in automatically. On the social media tab, the social miner gadget, as explained earlier, does not support SSO. Even though John is SSO enabled, he will still have to enter his login, username, and password. Okay, let's log John out. And this concludes our brief overview of the single sign-on feature. Thank you for watching.